<laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl CRB, and I am back with another video. So today is Wednesday. It's Friday. So of course we got bills to pay and errands to run, right? Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, I am headed to get my wax. As if I feel like somebody's stripping and tugging on me today, but whatever. Um, this is a part of maintenance, you know. And I go get my ways every like every four weeks. How often do y'all get y'all ways? Because for me, I like to go when I have as less hair as possible. <laughs> I do not like to wait until I got a bush to be talking about going to get no wigs. You talking about her. Um, so yeah, I go every four weeks. How often do y'all go? But anywho, so once I leave here, I'm gonna go back to work. If y'all ain't peak chat, everything get done doing business hours. Um, I work a nine to five job. I'm off on the weekends. Um, a wax is something that I can squeeze in on a Saturday to do, but I choose not to because Saturdays, I'm sure they're pretty busy on a Saturday. And so, yeah, I just would rather not go on a Saturday. So I try to squeeze it in during the week when I can. Um, my appointment's at 1.30. It's 124 right now. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and then I'm going to go in. But I just know, like, I know my girl. And that's another thing, too, y'all. I've started going to my wax place so often and I like I've been loyal to them for a long time everybody know me <laughs> everybody done seen this cool <laughs> but yeah um after that I'm gonna go to work I don't really have much going on this week um I'm trying to think I, I don't think I got much going on this week we may we may have to run into some fun towards the end of the week um towards the weekend but we'll see. So right now, just come with me to go get my weights. Oh, I am. I am. Saying I, 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 I. Tell me why you crying, how can it be, girl? When you gave me something, I don't really feel But you knew that already When I found you on the ground yeah. Alright y'all, and just like that, I'm done So, like I told y'all, I got there at like 126 My appointment was at 130 Um... It's now 151. So, yeah, and I got a combo. So, I got my underarms and Brazilian. And my wax place only charge $50 for a combo. Now, I don't know what y'all paying because I think my wax is $40 and underarms is $10. So, I don't know what y'all paying, but y'all better get in with me. <laughs> so, now we're headed back to work. I already brought my lunch. Um, to work so I don't need to stop and get nothing unless I'm being greedy which I don't need to be because baby I'm sure y'all can tell the girl done picked up some pounds baby that's just not it we, we just not going outside like that alright so this is the dining area not too big not too little you can definitely tell the carpet is a little worn but it's not too bad um, to the left right here is like a walk-in closet where they have some of the vinyl that go over there. <laughs> some of the um, vertical blinds in there, but it's still a nice walk-in closet size. So we're going to go straight in here to the kitchen. That's the screen door for the patio over there. But nice, small kitchen, but it does have a backsplash back there. Um, it does come with a washer and dryer in here, so that's cool. Um, you know, not too big, not too little, <laughs> just enough for one person. Um, and then here's the living room area. Does come with the fireplace there. Got the bookshelf next to it. Here's your balcony. Um, vertical blinds there, doors, a storage closet out there. I'm not going on that patio. 
So yeah. So now we're gonna go in. We're gonna go to the bathroom first, which is right here. Nice Ooh, long mirror there. Love that. Um, you know, just ordinary apartment stuff. Got a towel closet, linen closet, whatever you want to call it. Then you have your HVAC closet right there, which is I'm not opening the door. And then here is your bedroom. It does come with um, a ceiling fan and lights. Let's turn the lights on. There we go. So it does come with them. I do love that it comes with a ceiling fan. I won't have to worry about buying like a fan or whatever. But we're going to turn it back off. And then here's the closet. It is walk in. Um, a lot of railing and space for clothes, which I do need that. We're going to turn that light off. So yeah, that's it. All right now, y'all. Today, Thursday, we got one more day and it's going to be Friday, baby. I don't know about y'all, but I've been looking forward to the weekend, even if I ain't doing nothing. And nine times out of ten, I ain't doing nothing. But it is Thursday. Yes, I have a wine glass in the car. Made it to the grocery store. We're going to cook some dinner for that man and them kids. Let me stop saying that. <laughs> it's a girl on TikTok. I think her name is Erica. But um, every time she do her videos, because she's mainly known for like cooking meals. Every time she do her um, videos, she be like, something about cooking for that man and them kids. <laughs> and she be like, and say that man and them kids, dinner is served or something like that. It be, it's cute. But anyway, I'm cooking for me and my man, baby. It ain't no man and no kids. The baby girl is in Houston. Yeah, I seen her last vlog. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm headed to the grocery store. I don't know if I want to do jambalaya or fajitas. And it's like, they kind of go hand in hand with each other because if I do fajitas, I'm going to add rice, <laughs> like some Spanish rice to go with it. So, um, I probably don't do a jambalaya because now my mouth kind of set on it and I don't want to do just like no basic jambalaya. I actually want to learn how to cook it from scratch. But I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. Just because I'm last minute cooking. It's already 7.25. Um, so we're going to do jambalaya. And I think I want to add chicken, sausage, and <laughs> shrimp. But we're going to see. Because he's going to talk about me if I do all that. But I know he'll get full if I do a lot of protein, a lot of meat. So, yeah. Head to the store. But side note. Um my boo lord it's it's been a lot going on at work for him um recently and lately so i want to kind of do something for him but i don't know what i want to do um when we was in houston well on the way back from houston sunday he was talking about us going to like get a massage um this week but there was something that he was talking about doing for us. Um, so I'm kind of like, do I want to just go ahead and do it and don't sell him? Or see if he's going to go ahead and plan it? <laughs> I don't know. I probably just go ahead and, and do something. But I don't want to do a massage because that's something that he wanted to do. I mean, I, could, I still could. It's no biggie. But it's like I don't want to steal his idea. So I don't know. Um... I always take him out for like drinks and dinner. Um, maybe we'll go fishing. Maybe we'll go fishing this weekend. That's something that'll relax him and ease his mind, bring him a little peace. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go fishing, but we're gonna actually rent a boat this time. And I'll bring you out with us, but mm, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Now you call me to my yard on the spot Can you see me on the edge? I'm in love If the world was dead Would you cry or would you try to get me? Tell me now, I want you to be clear yeah. Tell me now, I need you to be clear yeah. I will wait for you, for you
Don't mind me eating in the bed. So I have my jambalaya. You see a little chicken. You see a little sausage right there. And you got some shrimp. And you got some Hawaiian rolls right here. Get into it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Here, <laughs> probably I'll loop over him. It's pretty good. I think I like that. Probably I don't get my arms small. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So we got the double icer, which is espresso cream, simple syrup, I can ice, I think. Um, but no, 
So I'm gonna see if they can cut them down. When they cut them down, like I, it'll give it like that um, coffin shape a little yeah. bit. So I'm gonna see if they can do this. But if not, I'll take them. <laughs> Let me tell y'all how it took them um, 45 minutes to bring us some French toast and bacon, and they not that bad. I'm trying to be appreciative. Hopefully, it's good. But let's see. First bite. <laughs> y'all so i'm back in the car leaving Ooh. leaving from zaza <laughs> it's called Tr trattoria zaza zaza trattoria something like that but anyway um yeah brunch was lovely it was exactly how i remembered which was good so shout out to that them <laughs> um i had it years ago my cousin and her boyfriend used to order it all the time and we would like um they would get it to go though so we would eat it at um at home so we would just order like to go and have brunch at home and so i remember it being like real good and it was exactly how i remember the only thing is they change up their fruit i guess according to season but still good um i need some gas i'm like seven miles to empty but i could not stop on the way here because i was already running late and y'all i don't know um if i've ever said this on here or not but i'm very much an on-time person where i try to be as close to being on time as possible but when i'm going out with like certain people like my sister and i know she's gonna be late that i don't put pressure on trying to be there on time so today i did not put pressure on being there on time and um she ended up getting there just like five minutes earlier than i got there so i was like okay girl look at you trying to learn to get someone on time but anyway <laughs> um <clears throat> what was i about to say yeah we talked about a little bit of a lot of things um as y'all can see i kind of gave y'all a little glimpse of our conversation but just checking in on the baby um, and I try well she did make a point today at brunch that lately she's been the one to initiate us hanging out and I'm gonna have to change that but um, a part of me tried to do something with her um, it don't have to be like super often but often enough just so that she knows that I'm still here regardless of her getting pregnant on me <laughs> but um, you know just to let her know that I'm still big sister middle sister because we have older sister and um you know we're still besties you know and she's just taking a little break from the alcohol activities but we can still go to brunch we can still do our normal things together so yeah um that was that so now we're headed to our mom's house we're gonna go hang out chill for a few and then who knows that's probably it i need to see if my mom want me to stop and get like some mimosa stuff i actually think we got some but i don't think it's cold i don't know look at me talking about drinking i just said something about that well i ain't saying nothing but besides not being able to drink with my sister but anywho yeah so check it in i'm gonna talk to y'all later xoxo <laughs> what's up y'all me and it's pizza and I just can't get enough of it. So today is Sunday. Um, we are headed to dinner. I keep wiping this on the camera off. Let me just see if I get it any better. Whatever. But yeah, so we're headed to oh Jesus. World Trump. <laughs> oh, we're headed to dinner. Um yeah, I've been fighting with this top since I put it on. And I, I, a part of me wanted to change 
because I'm like, I don't have time to keep tugging on my clothes all night. But at the same time, the outfit is so cute. And hopefully I'll take um, me and my boyfriend to take pictures or I'll take pictures um, so I can show y'all. But, yeah. So, yeah, we're headed to dinner. Um, it's so crazy because I think I had just uh, shared like a thing on Facebook where it was like, how y'all be dating but don't go on dates? Like, what y'all doing? Or something, something like that. <laughs> and I had reposted it and was like, um, uh, it is time for another date night or it is time for date night or something like that. So, it's, it's really crazy that we're going somewhere. Um, and I had literally just put that, which we go places all the time. So, it's not like it's been so long. But yeah, headed to dinner. Um, we're supposed to be, to be going to Culinary Dropout. Um, it's a new place in Birmingham. So we're going to try that out and see how it is. Um, I know some people that have went and it was just like, it's just okay. Um, baby, this church. Now, I wasn't doing all this tugging in the house. I don't know what the hell going on right now. Probably because the seatbelt is on it or something. I don't know, y'all, but this is really making me second guess putting this on. And I know my boyfriend is going to talk so much shit when I get in the car with him um, about this shirt. Because you know how I mean. Y'all know how I mean it is. They just have to say something. But yeah, so ooh, maybe I need to wipe my nose. I keep sniffing. But um, yeah, going to culinary dropout. I've heard mixed reviews, so it's time for us to go check it out and get our own opinion on it. Um, from what I see, the drinks look really good. Um, drinks look really good. The drinks look cute and like date night type of vibes. Um, the food that I've been seeing people have have been looking a little iffy. So I guess that's where the it's me come from. Where you know people reviews, mixed reviews coming from. But we'll see. Um, I'm gonna take y'all with us and get little snippets here and there. But I'm definitely just about to go enjoy my man, and I will see y'all probably tomorrow <laughs> when I get done. One or the other. <laughs> Let me get you. Oh, 
I wonder if they have a band in here earlier. Because they said they'd be having a thank you. Give me like two more minutes for your drink, okay? Can we have some sauce? Yes. Sue gave me another lemon. For what? Can I give me some lemonade? You can't take black folks from nowhere. You can't take. This drink, five out of 10. Probably like a four out of 10. What you rate your drink? This was his drink right here. I mean, if you just talking about the drink itself, the drink itself probably about a 10 out of 10, but with no alcohol in it. Yeah, his drink came with this beer, y'all. He don't want it. So now I have a, a, oh, well, this was called a what? A Tijuana, Taiwana, tap water, somebody like that, child. I don't fucking know. Them folks ain't put no alcohol in that shit. <laughs> and what you had, a deviant behavior is what these two Ooh. call. Okay. Well, so now he got a a margarita, Cali summer margarita, some shit. I don't know. I got Paloma Spritz, so we're gonna see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no, we're good. Thank you. Yeah. Good. I can't hear she, y'all. Look at them. <laughs> I know that's right, child. We're gonna get us a picture when we done. <laughs>